Hello everyone and welcome to a new modern video. The deck I'm playing today is Wild. It has Nadu Winged Wisdom. This is the second time playing Nadu. The first time I was playing a list, a very primordial list that I didn't enjoy too much. Today we are doing something additional to the Nadu combo. We're not all in on Nadu Shuko. We also have Underworld Breach that wins in combination with Grinding Station. You mill your whole deck, and then you win with Tassa's Oracle. Of course, you have four Urza Saga uh, that gets your Shuko alongside Mox Amber. The biggest addition to the Breach deck is certainly Tanyo Inquisitive Student, which is a one-mana legend for your Mox Amber, as well as a tool that grows your Saga, that helps your Emery with Artifact, and etc. Vrenon 6 is a card I dislike. Vrenon 6 in the famous Mangu ban list for cards that are too weak for modern. But here you have uh, several synergies that makes me not hate it too much. The biggest synergy is with Urza Saga. You also have Mox Amber and you have Nadu. So with Vrenon 6 you can just ping your Tamiya and trigger Nadu. So if you don't have Shuko you still draw an extra card. Those old things are uh, considered, I don't think Vernon 6 is still very powerful, but we will see how it does uh, in this deck. Um, I'm always a big fan of these uh, Breach decks, so if I get to play with some new cards, I'm always happy to do it. I believe that due to my scheduling, this video will appear on a Sunday, and uh, will technically count as a Sunday Merktide, so... I I apologize if I uh, disappoint you all watching on YouTube right now, but, you know, hard to keep up with the daily YouTube video schedule and take a 12-day 12 12 day break, but here we are. This deck looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, this deck comes from Corey Baumeister. He's a lover of the Grinding Station deck. I took this list from a top 16 uh, that he made. He advertised this deck on his Patreon as well. So, you know, if you want to know more, you can check it out. Four bubbles, zero DRC. Yeah. Yeah, this deck, this deck would love infinite cards. It would love expressive iteration. It would love, uh, I don't know, the one ring. Let's go, on the play. We don't have a companion because that's a Zoracle. Alright, very good end. I go Island Tamio, Mox Amber, Freerdain. I find Nadu and Mishra's Bubble. Oh, uh, I like them both. I'll play Bubble, and then I'll crack it in my opponent turns if they have Thoughtseize and only have three lands in end. Maybe I should have played Breeding Pool turn one. I didn't consider the fact that I could draw Nadu and can cast the turn two with Saga. Yeah, in the future, I'll play Breeding Pool in the same spot. Okay, never mind. Opponent has Lightning Bolt, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I got nothing to do. Saga go. But in two turns, I'll have the combo with Shuko. Although, of course, you know, it's not that you have infinite ways to go off with Nadu, but still pretty valuable. When it plays Eidolon of the Great Rebel. Which I could possess you if I want to. Ooh, nice. Let's think about this now. Well, I can go <laughs> Boseju Nadu Tamio this turn. I think it's pretty powerful. I'll take four damage, but it's okay. And then let's see what happens next turn. But I can make a construct and then shook on my things. This thing has fourth off now, so it's hard to hard to kill by burn.
What point of possession is of the breeding pool? The reason is that I care more about the two life now than to kill the, the Eidolon later. I'm not saying it's wrong, but that's what I thought. Sorry, I'm not saying it's right, but that's what I thought. Maybe it may be wrong actually the more I think about it. Yeah. It certainly is wrong. I should have just taken two damage and play breeding pool. When I decided to give up. I guess it was, it was not that wrong after all. Wow, we're playing actual Swan Song. Alright, I'm ready for the question. Why, Mango, don't you play Strix Serenade? Boo, let's check the reason. Why don't we play Strix Serenade? Strix Serenade, what does it say? Kind of like artifact, creature, or planeswalker. And this says, uh, kind of enchantment, instant sorcery. And why did it make Strix Serenade so bad? It's unbelievable that so many people ask me if they had C play. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. Why? Why did it make Strix Serenade so bad? Uh, do I want to sideboard a million cards? Maybe. Castle Castle Tolgo. Boo? I know the heat? Nah. We just... Well, it's not so counter, is it? Strix Serenade counters Karn. I'm lost here, I'm sorry. I I have to wait, I, you have to wait a little bit. I'm gonna be very lost with sideboarding with this deck. This isn't great, but I'm gonna keep it. Watch him a preordain since I have two. Barbarian Goblin Guide. Attack, flip a land. Draw another Emery. Preordain. Bottom top. I'll play it. I guess I don't have to crack it, because next turn I can cast Emery with it. This is called Magical Line. It has uh, old cards, like Mishra's Bubble, that comes from 2003, which is very, very old. Well, maybe it's later, 2005, maybe? 2004? When is this again? I don't remember. Anyway, on top of my deck, I have a Breach, which is a terrible draw. I think Swan Song sucks. I should just have more bolds. I'll go Island, and I'll go Emery. Bubbles on Arena? Sweet. I didn't know that. You mill three, turn mill four. What did I mill? Nothing great. Lava Spike. What happened to my bed? What happened to my bed? Did you not notice it? Did it uh, mimic with the wall? Camouflaged. Madonna mia, mi fai un miliardo di danni. Alright, opponent, you win. Zero cards in turn three. Jeez. Alright, you know one song? You go back. You go back to the to the cards that don't belong to modern. Maybe later, we'll see you. Maybe I like Mox Amber. 
on the play. Maybe more combo. Do you want to go preordain or top land? I think I'll go top land. Might to kill Eidolon? Unfortunately, Might would only be able to kill Eidolon in paper because it said non creature enchantment. Goblin Guide. Reveal. Tamio. Sweet. Tamio's strong. Tamio's a great blocker for a Goblin Guide. Hear me out, though. What if I don't block Tamio Goblin Guide, but go Preordain instead? Yeah, I'm gonna well kill my Tamio anyway. We got it. We are ready. Top, top, draw breach. Draw a saga as well with the goblin guide attack. And then we will see what happens. I need a little bit more mana though. Next turn, if I kill Tamiya, I definitely cannot win. But I can, we'll see. They play a card of dubious power level. A card that I doubt belongs to modern. And they attack me. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have to win. Uh, I'll uh, flip Tamio though. No, don't. Never mind. Can I flip Tamio? I mean, I can. Is it good to flip Tamio? Oh, I mean, I can flip Tamio. The question is, do I want to do it? What's the option? Is it to go? Nadu Preordain? That's weak. I guess Nadu F Saga in play though. Alright, you know what? I wanna go. I wanna flip Tamiya. I'm gonna go Preordain first. Let's see what I find. Anoli Heat. Alright, bottom. Bottom. Attack with Tamiya. Saga, crack a clue, flip Tamio, plus, pass, man, all these, all these anoli heat, in my, my, in my cola lesson, Simic Mana Base. Some scribe bug going on right here, yeah. Let's see what happens next turn. Definitely threatening a lot with my hand. Remember, we have a uh, Tamiyo Plus, so this creature only deals 3 damage. They don't deal 6. If I lose this game, it's my fault, by the way, because I had uh, so many cards. I had so many options. I certainly had an option to win the game. Does the backside with Tamiya work with Mox Amber? Don't know what you, what do you mean with work? Mox Amber says uh, creature or planeswalker. 
Add one mana of any color among legendary creatures you control or planeswalker. It gives you green mana if that's what you all are asking me. What's a tier of Amped Raptor after a week of testing? I think this is a tier of uh, if I draft it and I'm red, I take it. That's the, the rate of Amped Raptor. But even there, you can cast it, flip a card that you can't cast, just get two energy on 80B, it's fine. Two on first strike, decent body in draft, I think. Doesn't fit in the best archetype, which is Eldrazi. You're still okay with taking it. You can go Boris, which is also a decent archetype. A lot of cards they take over this. Opponent goes Monster Swift Spear and then goes Lava Spike. What do you spike? Spike Tamio, va bene. And you deal me three damage and you kill Tamio. Hmm. What is that I have to draw here? Tamiya? Tamiya wins? Alright, let's think about it. I don't think I have lethal, right? Well, I guess I do. I can go breach Tamiya and then I go off. Yeah, I go Breach, I spend two mana, go Breach, play Tamiyo, and then I win. All right, let's go. Let's get Mox Amber. All fetch. All, uh, doesn't matter. Get stomping ground. I'll play breach. I'll play Tamio. I'll um, play Grinding Station. I think I have to do Always Yes and Always Yield. Maybe not. Let me make sure I don't misclick. I haven't, I haven't comboed in a while on Magic Online. Yeah, so it is definitely always yes, and I guess also always yield. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now this is the journey where we have infinite and we just need our opponent to scoop. All right, I conceded. Cool. All right, of course, if you've never seen this combo before, you mill your whole deck and then you find Tassa's Oracle, you leave that in the graveyard and then eventually you cast it. Nah, it's fine. I, oh, I, I always had it, right? You can always mill with the last. When it goes swamp from Kaladesh. Do I have any basics in my deck? Just island? Hmm. Remains to be seen if Renesix 6 belongs here. Ooh, great draws on top of my deck. Uh, I'll put Emery on top so that they don't mill it. Sorry, they don't discard it. Ren minus turning into another trigger. Yeah. 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I put in Drew Grief uh, or Scam. I don't know. They didn't grief me on turn one. You want six to find a home. Unfortunately, that card is not powerful. I have kind of called a lot of the cards that uh, are good slash not good. Did I miss something? Uh, Maybe Necro? I thought it was not good, but it might be just very, very good. Okay, what do I want to do with these two cards? These two cards are both of them bad. I don't care about Grinding Station. I got commented one of my videos and said, Please, Mango, five, make 5 0 with 6. I bought a lot of them. Unfortunately, my friend, you did not make a good choice. Ay, ay, ay. Necropatons are very powerful. What should this card there? Two lands. Shuko. Shuko Fakakare. Okay. Um. Uh, but I can uh, find a Solent Mox Ember. I think I have to go for Shuko and then I play Mox Ember. And pass, then I have to Bozeji the Necropatonza. And I guess I can make a token and equip it. I go to 11 here. Yeah, I know Bozeji cost 1. You play Sorin. You thought this is me? You play Grief. You extort. Yeah, I must interact in second main. Maybe I can wait end step. Chat, can I wait end step to Bozeji to Necro? Is that how it works? Okay. This is, this trigger on at the beginning, so it doesn't trigger now. All right, so I gotta get green mana here, which will put me to eight. Uh, I guess I'll let the extort trigger resolve. And then I'll go Boseju for one mana on Necro. I mean, if if it worked, then, you know, should have done it. It didn't work. So. And then I'll make a Saga Construct. There's no Shadow Sphere. It should be good here, but... That's not what this deck is about. Obviously... Uh... Underworld Breach, not a bad draw. Um, mm, Explode mm, mm. Mana. Let's get Springleaf Drum. Let's play Saga. Let's play Underworld Breach. Let's play Nadu, Winged Wisdom. Second seed. We were just going to draw a bunch of cards. We had a ton of mana eventually. Things would have happened. And remember, if you've ever played against this deck nowadays, all they do is playing this curse spell. So if your plan is winning the game, you have to top deck. So, you know, just get ready for that happening if you if you want to win if you if you don't want to win then 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 don't bother top deck in 
All right, let's bring in these six cards into action. What's bad? I'm gonna assume random six once again. You can convince me it's good, but you'll probably fail because I I really think this card is weak. Yeah, we're 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 testing it out today. See how it is. Testing game one, I guess, because I set it out every game. Um, what do I side out? Do I need all these bolts? I think so. So MH3 power crept out um, Ragavan. MH2 power crept out Brandon 6, I think. Been a brand hater since the Yorian ban, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna side out two on Oli Heat. No idea what to do. Were there any cards you were high on MH3 that have underperformed? Yeah, that Fanatic of Ronas. I thought that would have been a decent card, but it, it's it's not. It sucks. I mean, it's a one, two mana one four. I don't know why I thought it would be good. I guess keep up. It's also two mana one four. Okay. I'll go for the Tamio with a Steam Vents. It's not a random Shuko. You have a four Urza Saga. You have five Shukos in your deck. I'm gonna play Doty Wood Walker, which was the reason for me to get Steam Bends. Wow, I got punished for not attacking first. Katsinye. Katsinye. I'll play Shuko and pass here. This card doesn't get stopped by Veil Summer. They're rotated in a way that doesn't get stopped by Veil Summer. I mean, I was going to play Emery, but now that there's Doth in play, I don't think I should. I guess I can play it in a kip. Nah. Nah. Let's just play Station and pass. Veil of Summer. Ooh, Felmeyer untapped. I'm gonna cycle, Bill. Ah. <sighs> I want to play Emery, make a construct to keep it. Nah, I think I'll play this, this preordain. Yeah, take two, I got an eight. Really bad draws on top of my deck. But what can I do?
There's no banning in coming. Let's not talk about that. All right. Okay, the constructs holding the shield grid. I'll go to five. Once again, no uh, shadow spear in my deck, unfortunately. All right, now I concede. They have the combo. They draw eighteen cards. I think we need to have maximum answer to Dothy. Dothy is just too good. What do I side out though? <laughs> uh -huh. I side out preordain. Not the best hand of the world, but it can't be bad. All right, now it's a little bit worse. Now my hand does nothing all of a sudden. I'll leave this on top. It's just a shock. But they still have the Dothy. Man, that's a good end. You had a uh, ley line and grief scam. Jeez. Ah. Uh. Actually, I got punished for bobbling in my turn. I should have bobbled in my opponent's turn. To play around uh, exactly what happened. They would have drawn on lonely heat on grief. That would have been very good. Okay, we're in a race here, and I think I shouldn't play Saga, because I want to make four constructs out of this. I don't even want to crack a bubble, because all I want to do is making constructs. I got a nine with this fetch land, so maybe it's not a race I'm winning. Yeah, maybe I should have played Saga just because I can't win this race. GG. The name Saga. Surveil. Yeah, I could never I could never be what they have going on, I think. Yeah, it was impossible to be this hand. Turn one, Leyland Grease Cam, turn two Dothy turn three flute. Nothing I can do. There's nothing you can do. I guess I could have comboed with Nadu if I drew Nadu. Usually Saga is very good at uh, the beating grief, but obviously if they have uh, that thing and the grief. Uh, well, my hand is great, so I'm going to keep it. Oh, 
Ooh, Green's Labyrinth. All right, let's see what I do with it. The pitch, Emrakul, the world's on you. Expedition map. Pass. Annoy Heat is not a good draw. I'll uh, bubble myself. Tamio. I think with Tami on top, I can go off on turn three. Yeah, if Saga gets Amber, so I'm just gonna go Saga, go. I haven't seen a Chrodominancy Legacy now. Razi Temple. Pass. Okay. Okay. I can now go Steam Vents, Grinding Station. Next turn we have to win. If they go Karn, they stop me. I guess another Drazi Temple. Okay, so they have to six mana for Eldrazi's. So I'm, I wouldn't like to see any interaction piece like Harn or Thanos here. The one ring. All right, I think we win the game now. And we only win the game because they played turn three, turn uh, turn one saga. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't be able to win. All right, never mind. I drew the Mox Amber anyway, so I guess we would we would we would have won regardless. I get Shuko. Um. So I'll play uh. Cameo. I'll play Mox Amber. I'll flow blue. I'll mill myself. Untap. Gonna do always yes. Always yield. Then I play Breach. Then I play Mox Amber. Flow blue, mill three, sacrifice. And then we have the loop. Oh, yeah, we still have to make a land drop. I guess playing Emery is faster, right? Yeah, playing Emery is one mana faster, I think.
to me one more card. Okay, game one, win. Sideboard, things will be much harder. The Swanson counter Karn, it doesn't. I'll leave in one red and six. I guess we got one red, one Baseju. Okay, new match. That was a turn three kill. Brandon's has been any good. Not so far, but you know. You never know. Still there, still there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, opponent reveals the Var of Destiny. This was my first pick in yesterday draft. Yesterday on the train, I 7 0'd on Magic Arena. First pick the Var of Destiny and drafted uh, Aldrazi's. Okay, what do you exile? Die, Matter Shaper, my can merda. Don't play Matter Shaper, chat. I'm sure you can do better. Uh uh uh. I don't want to go Saga turn 1 this time. Let's go Preordain, but I want to fetch. Yeah, I want to fetch Breeding Pool, just in case I draw Nadu. I'll do Bottom, and I'll do Top. I guess I can play those. But I don't want to crack them. Nedu hasn't been very relevant so far. I guess game one against Burn it was. Let's play... Wait a second, do I win here? I play Emery? So I play Emery, then I play Grinding Stage. No. I play Emery, I play Breach. It depends, I guess. If Emery finds Mox Amber, I win. Nah, I shouldn't have fetched. That's, that's bad to fetch. Still a brace. Hello, sub for three years. So much time. Yeah, it's bad to fetch because I need to wait for Saga. Anyway, uh, if I mill a Mox Amber, I win. Let's see what I mill. I think it's still a brace. Okay. I'll go um, grinding station. 
Yeah, I should have had Urza Saga in play instead of Steam Vents. And I'll uh, bubble. Okay. Next turn, obviously win, but depends. I could have a fear macabre. I don't know, surgical extraction. All right. Uh, yeah. Now we're gonna go. I guess they can also have um. So we play Breach. Um, I'll play Mishra's Bubble from the graveyard first. Just in case I have a Force of Vigor. Let's play Mox Amber. Flow Blue. Target myself. All right, I can see it. Cool. All right, we almost won on turn three, both games. Pretty impressive. All right. We got a couple of Nadus. Ooh, JMM. This is a very, very good player. I'm going to assume he's on Storm based on the notion that every good player plays Storm. So, Decoy Squid, where are you my previous opponent? GG's. I don't play Storm. Interesting. Uh, let's go Breeding Pool and let's go Preordain. Like Saga. Saga can get Shuko eventually. Now, do we think is the best? I don't know. Oh wow, they Grizzled Brand. They Entomb for Grizzled Brand on turn one. And they play Priest of Ferrites on turn two. A good thing we have an only Heat. Ooh, great draw, Tamiyo. Great draw. So I can go Saga. Rum. Mox Amber, Tamio, Anoli Heat, Pass. Tint, okay. But it isn't a good Gorius Vengeance player. Usually Gorius Vengeance player reanimate on turn two every game. Or if they're very unlucky on turn three. Punish should learn uh, from the best Gorius players. Swamp. He thoughts is me. 
All right, I'll show you a pair. Why does this look legacy? Uh, now I, we still have two lands versus three. In legacy, you each would have zero lands. I don't know what legacy do you play. By the way, speaking of legacy, this afternoon I will do a... Um, I will do a video. A Mangus workshop going over the... Um, going over the tournament at Four Seasons that happened that we covered entirely. The opponent does have the Gore's Vengeance, Grace of Brand. Now I, now I recognize you. Now I recognize you. Mm hmm. Okay. Man, just just randomly hitting Grace of Brand in your graveyard on turn one is so busted. You don't even have to like discard a track so two tainted indulgence, you can just pitch it to grief. So good. Graves me. Emirate on Grizzle Brand. Okay. You have 11 cards in your hand, but you have a Grizzly Brand sticking out, sticking around. And you're ending my Tamyo. Okay, so I guess I have to make a construct now. And then I'll crack this land and draw a card with the clue. Oh, Brandon Six. Mmm, Bona. Okay, I got Saga popping off, but I don't think there's anything for me to get. Emery. Uh, what can I do here? Mamma mia, sto cane de merda che abbaglio di continuo, che coglioni. Uh... Alright, I'll concede. I'm certainly going to die next turn to Atraxa. All right, we got Soga Lantern, we got Veil of Summer, we got Random Counters. Man, just imagine having a dog. You leave for work, you leave the dog at home, which does nothing except barking every the whole time. Nobody's at home, so he just barks. And the people that are actually home have to hear your dog barking. Oh, come on, que odio, mamma mia, que odio, que odio, mamma mia, que odio. The hate versus those dogs' owner is even higher than that Brennan Six. I just actually maybe don't want to cut Mox Amber. 
It's so hard to sideboard when he's hiding so many cards in this deck. You think they have Leyliner? You think they have Leyliner the Void? I doubt it. You can barely hear the dog? Yeah. <laughs> Happy for you. <laughs> Danilo! Hello! Thank you, Danilo. Welcome for the sixth month. Sephiroth Coliseum is decent here. All right, my hand has a lot of counters. Oh, good. If they go grief scam, there's nothing I can do about it. Thought seize is fine. Did you have any chance to play against me? I mean, I don't know your hand. Karn is the best card against me. So maybe you should have mulligan to Karn game two, but you also mulligan to five, so. Yeah, they're not listed on God Thoughts, the Anoli Heats. Yeah, they're not. I mean, this is the God account that uh, Watsi gives me. Oh, by the way, I don't have the Storm count anymore. I can't move the camera a bit. Earlier we played Storm, so I have to move the camera. Painted indulgence. You discard Grace a brand. You pass, I draw Emery. Pretty bad. Prayer day, looking for a land. A brick. I'm up when I am agrees a brand. Yeah, if you want to watch the replay, you have to be subbed, or you may wait for the video going up on YouTube. But it'll definitely be a while before I post this video on YouTube, so. Three mana, what's that buried alive? Wrath of Disguise, wow. Right? I'll post it in the scouting Discord of my PT uh, PT channel. We have a section for scouting, but I can't find it now. Okay. Um, Daybreak games, yes, they break. They are the company that uh, take control to control over Magical Line, some years ago now. Uh, 
Looks like the dog has stopped barking, but it left me with a headache, which I definitely need to take a pill for after this league. Yeah, after this league, I'm gonna do a light um, lunch break, take the headache pill, and then I return and we play one more league of modern. Uh, there's so many decks that I want to try. It's very difficult to decide. Uh, do I want to go Swan Song? I think so. I was gonna discard that anyway. Dumping Matrix. I guess playing uh, Emery does nothing. Yeah. The Koi Squid, thank you, thank you for the T1 sub. Yeah. Game to you a card. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you resolve card against my deck, is problematic. You see, not a dumping matrix. But the matrix, I guess, also stops you from uh, activated Emery. Here's another. All right, I guess Saga is a nice B plan here. What did you get with Falaji? I didn't see Ephemerate, okay. Should have played Emery, my bad. All right, they're gonna make Gore anyway. I can go a bit of summer and try to find a counter spell. Alright, GG. Yeah, opponent deck seemed uh, seemed good. Mulligan to five, unfortunately. This is my second time Mulligan in. This hand, of course, doesn't have any lands. And also has Ren and six. All right, let's go. I'll bottom uh, these two lands and let's go. Turn one, Thundering Falls. What's on top? Put in place of Bosch. They can still maybe have a uh, Thoughtsies, so I'm just gonna just gonna pass with no. Window spells in and to discard. Is that a Ragavan? I never once comboed with Nadu. Oh, speaking of which, I guess it may be the same. Maybe this time. Eighteen, you make a treasure. The exalt breeding pool, meaning that this has to get stomping ground if I want green mana. 
Nadu dies to solitude but doesn't die to galvanic discharge or flage. Okay, you play Spire on turn two. You just got Flage and Timeless Dragon, alright. Do I want to go Nadu now or wait? I feel like my opponent can Blood Moon me, so I need to play Nadu now. <sighs> the Nadu plus Shuko combo still needs some more help, but doesn't just win the game. I enjoy my weekend, yes, very much, very much. I was in Parma, play Magic, ate great food. What else? I don't want to expose my my Nadu. Surprised they didn't attack with Ragavan. Yeah, we can make an extra body next turn, depending on what we draw. Let's get the Shuko and try to equip. Yes, solitude, of course. So the double removal, so okay. Wow, bolt and a flip saga, cool. And bold. Okay, what do we get now? Do I still get Shuko? No, I think I get a Mishra's bubble. And pass. You win more with Ragavan in Merc Tide. I'm surprised, but yeah. I'm glad you do. I know any time I play against Ragavan lately is very underwhelming. I'm just off it. Ragavan is. It may be on the band on the on the band list guard. You know, on the cards that are banned on the end of the stream. Who's gonna have flashback flage? I guess they do so. I can then annually heat flage. And if I crack both bubble, they don't gain three life. I think I'll do that. Flage resolves and targets me. Sorry, and th sorry. Flage resolves and I wait for the target. And you target the construct. Now I can target myself with bubble. Let's see, fetch land. I'll surveil. Let's see what there is. Another land. And then I'll bubble you. So that the construct dies, you don't get life. And then I annually heat the flage. Alright, you don't get life, you don't kill anything. I untap, draw three cards, draw breach, branding station, win the game. Easy. Easy. Breach. 
Okay. I can go red and six. Return Saga. Play Saga. Tamio and pass. To make a construct to block with. Although they have a lightning bolt on top of the deck, and I'm at six life, so I'm dead to another bolt or a flake. Not that to Galvanic Discharge though, because I can make a blocker for Season Pyro, so I'll go to four. I'll go to four. If they have Discharge and Bolt. Alright, they end up bolting the Tamio. Okay. And then play Season Pyro. Okay, you have one card left. Secret Foundry. I kind of want to put a Shadow Spear in my sideboard. So often today. So often today, the, the, the Shadow Spear would have won me the game. Like, imagine now I go Shadow Spear, block here, main, my turn, make a construct, make a construct, a keep. I think I have to block this just because I don't want to go to two life. Sorry, to three life. It's going to three life against the deck with four flage is risky. They already played three bolts, but they still have flage in the graveyard. Alright, let's draw Underworld Breach now. Make a construct. I guess I keep on cycling with bubble. Yeah, I keep on cycling with bubble. And in order to not die to flage, I have to ping your token. Yeah, this is the best because I can make a construct and block. So this way I play around uh, Solitude and stuff like that. Could also return Saga. I don't think that's how I'm winning this game. I still need to top deck, I think. Alright, you got a combat. They attack with both. I must block. I don't care that I give you a graveyard for Flage. I must block. Ooh, what you got? Galvanic Discharge. Okay, I'm glad I played this way. So that means that I'm not dead on board. I go block. Okay, I go Nolly Heat. And we survive. La 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 la. Two more outs to top deck breach. Or even Nadu. Top deck Nadu is nice. Okay, Flitch comes in. Let's see where it goes. It goes on Ren. Didn't expect that. All right, I'm still gonna crack bubble. I know that I'll kill the construct. But rip. I need to top deck breach. Breach now. Underworld breach now. E baffanculo.
Yeah, I should have blocked the, the the one one. Yeah, for sure. Could have had an extra construct. Uh, I'll put preordain on top, and I'll pass. I'm not dead on board once again, so. Yeah, I would have had an extra construct. Yeah, yeah. Which matters a lot, because now I'm dead to Solitude. Let's see, I would have drawn Preordain. I would have Preordain Scry 2. Fong Shuko. And no more creature. What's the other card? Anoli Heat. So I could have drawn Shuko and only hit this. Mm, I don't know, long game. Actually, I have uh, too big of a headache. I will drop this league. Sorry. I need to... I need to... I need to fix something for it. I'll, um, I hope you enjoyed this video regardless. We definitely had some close games. Unfortunately, I never won with uh, Sh with Nadu and Shuko, though this game, maybe if I didn't make a mistake there, it would have been better. Uh, anyway, if you watch this video on YouTube, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel.